Is this the perfect time to switch off your phone and pick up a book? In this video, I look at why the upcoming National Reader Book Day has lasting benefits for people in the area. This Sunday, 6th of September, sees National Reader Book Day taking place all over the UK. And while events to mark the day have been scaled back due to social distancing, it's still a brilliant chance to take time out for yourself and bury your head in a good book. Here are five reasons why reading a book is a brilliant way to pass the time. Number one, escapism. Let's face it, 2020 has been a year most of us would like to forget, and what better way of doing that than losing yourself in a good book? Relaxation. Scrolling through phones or being glued to a screen isn't a smart way to chill out. Immersing yourself in a good story is. Plus it gives you time away from technology so your brain can slowly unwind. Number three, cost. Charity shops are great places to bag a literary bargain as are libraries where books are free when they reopen again fully. Number four, growth. Books can open the world to you by sharing stories from around the globe and from different people and life experiences. Number five, versatile. Reading doesn't necessarily have to involve paper books, with other options including comics, e-books and of course audio books. The organisation behind National Reader Book Day wants to get everyone enjoying reading, especially our younger generations. So here are four tips aimed at helping a younger audience develop a love of reading. Number one, spend 10 minutes a day starting on Sunday reading with your children or younger family members. Studies have shown this can have a hugely beneficial impact on children. Number two, swap a half hour of screen time for a routine of reading with or to each other. Number three, make it fun. Allow children to choose their favourite books to read before they settle down for the night. This will encourage them to read for enjoyment, not just for study. And number four, talk about the stories and books you are reading together. This helps children understand the stories more and is a great bonding exercise. Our favourite stories at our estate agents involve us helping our clients to move on to the next chapter of their lives. What's your favourite book and why? Thanks for watching and I'll catch you again soon.